Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The unguided bombs are also known as free fall gravity or dumb bombs. These bombs do not contain any guidance system but a guidance kit can be integrated later if needed. These bombs follow simple ballistic trajectory and are not very accurate. However, these are difficult to intercept, low cost and sustainable in advent of war. On 29th July 2023, a lot of five numbers of 1000 pound aerial bombs was flagged off by Grey and Foundry Jabalpur. While this number might seem less, on 1st April 2022, the Ordnance Factory Muradnagar has delivered 780 numbers of 1000 pound HSLD aerial bomb body. So this bomb has a length of 2880 millimeter with a tail unit and diameter of 360 mm. The bomb has high explosive dentex as filling which weighs around 210 kg. The bomb has carriage speed of 1.1 Mach and release speed of 0.98 Mach. The bomb can be used against runways, railway tracks, bridges, docks and bunkers. These bombs can be dropped from a height as high as 15,000 meters. It penetrates deep into subsoil strats and detonates giving earthquake effect. These bombs are very effective against the concrete runways as it penetrates deep and detonates leaving a crater of approximately 6 by 3 meter deep thus putting them out of commission. The total weight of filled bomb without tail unit is 450 kilograms approximately. So what we just talked about is a dumb high speed low drag bomb but ARDE has also developed a simple kit to convert these bombs into a precision guided bombs similar to US JDAM which we will discuss in detail now. JDAM or the Joint Direct Attack Munition is nothing but a kit with a guidance tail kit that converts the existing unguided free fall bombs into accurate adverse weather smart munitions. With the addition of new tail section that contains an inertial navigation system and a GPS system for guidance control unit, the JDAM improves the accuracy of unguided general purpose bombs in any weather condition. JDAM is a joint venture of US Air Force and Department of Navy. The ARDA developed precision guidance kit exactly works in the same way as JDAM but unfortunately they have not come up with a fancy name for the kit to market it well. The science behind converting a dumb bomb into a precision guided munition lies in its tail and on its nose. The precision guided version uses different tail than the one used in normal bomb. The tail used in normal HSLD bomb is called ballistic tail unit BTU and the tail of precision guided bomb is called smart tail unit or STU. The length of STU and fin is same as that of BTU so there is no change in the aerodynamic performance of the bomb. This smart tail hosts fiber optic gyroscope based INS GPS and GPS antenna for guidance of the bomb. The actuation system of the tail consists of four individually controlled fins. The nose of the bomb is called nose extension unit with two fins. The nose extension unit hosts laser seeker and dual GPS antenna which is jam proof. The bomb has plus minus 30 degree of bore release capability. It uses GPS INS navigation for mid course guidance and laser homing for terminal guidance. The bomb can attain a maximum speed of 1200 km per hour. It has an impressive accuracy even better than American JDAM. When bomb uses INS GPS only for navigation, its circular error probability is less than 30 meter. However, when it uses laser for terminal homing, Using SAL seeker, it gives an impressive circular error probability of less than 3 meters. 
This bomb can be fired from Su-30 MKI as well as LCA Tejas. The electromechanical adaptability of the bomb has already been demonstrated on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 weapon stations of Su-30 MKI. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.